New developments in the manslaughter trial of Officer Geronimo Yanez. Opening statements included sharply different versions of what happened last summer when Yanez shot and killed Philando Castile during a traffic stop in Falcon Heights. Our Lou Raguse was in the courtroom for the testimony. He's live in St. Paul now with the very latest. Hi, Lou. Hi, Rena. The prosecution had a very short opening statement, instead letting video do most of the talking. That video, taken from Officer Geronimo Yanez's dash cam, shows Yanez firing into Philando Castile's car several times, just seconds after Castile told him that he had a gun. The defense, in their opening statement, told the jury to focus their attention on one phrase, quote, well, don't reach for it then. They say Officer Yanez didn't just think Castile was reaching for his gun, but that he saw him begin to pull the gun out before firing seven shots into the car. Already on the witness stand is the state's star witness, Castile's girlfriend, Diamond Reynolds, who was in the car when Castile was shot. She described Castile as a gentle man who helped care for her daughter. She was just starting to talk about the evening of the shooting when court adjourned. But it's that squad car video that jurors are likely thinking about tonight. It all happened so quick on the video. The prosecutor said, quote, he didn't tell him to freeze. He didn't tell him to put his hands up. It was Officer Yanez's negligence from the traffic stop he chose to make that caused Mr. Castile's death. Now, but the defense addressed that issue as well, saying, quote, it was fast, but Philando Castile's inability to follow commands, unfortunately, is timeless here. Diamond Reynolds will continue her testimony when court starts up again in the morning. Rena. And we know you'll keep us updated. Lou Goose live in St. Paul tonight. Thank you. Someone 